Hey, welcome back to Aaron's Easy's uh, Review. Uh, this is Easy's Art Review. So, today I'm going to be reviewing uh, some paper that I've been using for making uh, origami for my pieces. Uh, I'm also going to be reviewing uh, what that paper said paper feels like. So, uh, here's the paper I use. Uh, you've probably seen me folding this paper uh, while talking to you during blogs. Uh, and these are also what I'm going to use for my book covers. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, this is the paper I use. Uh, I'm going to talk about it while folding you a piece of paper. So, I'm going to make you some or an origami really, 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 really quick. Um, I'm not going to mail it to anybody, so please don't ask me to mail it to you. Uh, what I usually use these for are thank you cards, uh, so I draw and then I use my copaic markers. Uh, this is thin enough that the copaic markers kind of just sink through it and pick up whatever's on the ground, uh, on the mat, underneath it. Uh, it's fairly thin paper, it's about uh, 60G, uh, if I'm correct. Uh, these are 6 by 6 inch papers, and what's really, really cool about it is that they come 500 in pack and... They have different type of colors. So uh, they have assorted colors. They have transparent. They have black, and then they have white. Um, and I think they have some like designed ones as well. I will say uh, that for origami paper, this feels a little bit thicker than regular origami paper. Um, so like it feels like I I could you know pick some. Uh, printer paper up and make these myself. I don't recommend that you make these yourself if you're uh, one of those type of people who are doing the math. I think you end up putting more, uh, though you might spend, you know, four or five dollars on a hundred sheets of large paper. Uh, shoot, four, four or five dollars. Let's see, I think you could get maybe two hundred roughly about 200 plus pieces of paper for maybe $5 and then we'll multiply that by two so $10 so you take that $10 uh, instead of buying these 500 sheets and you put it into large paper you will get more paper than you need and you can make your own size squares of what you want now uh, that being said I, I feel like uh, if you do choose to take that path uh, for whatever reason, I don't know why I'm doing this fold, but I am doing this fold anyway. This is not what I plan on making. I am going to do, did I say I'm going to do a lily or a crane? I can't remember. Uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to make something real quick. Uh, folding it is a little bit stiff and rigid. Uh, mm, it's not as clean and crisp as using regular origami paper well what I feel like would be regular origami paper just feels a little bit thicker uh, just feels like it I could be completely wrong so this is just my judgment you know using my fingers and filling things out uh, I like this paper but like if I make anything complicated it's so thick that uh, the paper doesn't really want to go where I want it to go and then I end up with a uh, messy uh, origami it's not as clean as I want it to be lines aren't uh, you know as perfect as I need it to be in my head I guess uh, so I guess I'm making a lily uh, as you continue to fold through these and you fold them and you fold them and you fold them, uh, it gets even harder to do these. Uh, when you use origami paper, like the expensive kind, they kind of just fold where it wants, where you want it to and it stays there and it's so like, it's almost like they're, they're waiting to be folded. I am, I am a flat piece of paper, please fold me. 
please, I want to be fooled. And these feel like, uh, they're like, man, I know what my purpose is, and I know why I'm here, and I know what you're going to want me to do, but uh, do we have to, you know? We could, we could, we could just skip out on this. And, and, you know, just let me, let me stay, stay straight. <laughs> okay, so, you're like, Aaron, you're doing drugs. No, I don't do drugs. I am drug free. Uh, I just don't know what to say all the time when it comes to the reviews. Uh, what I'm looking for, I, I get out of my art supplies. Uh, and they give me uh, the products that you see when I make them. I, what I like to use these for are more of the thank you cards than anything else. I don't uh, necessarily use these for uh, actual origami. So uh, unless it's for book covers or something that's simple. Uh, making uh, flowers, on the other hand, I probably wouldn't use this. Uh, watercolors are just going to destroy this paper. Uh, they won't hold at all. Uh, I will say uh, that, like right about here, is so thick and it's hard to fold now. Uh, origami paper would just eat this right up. Uh, my roses that I make would eat these right up. Uh, so that's done. I will rotate this back real quick. Uh, I do like to use these to make uh, pop-up kind of mock-ups. Uh, they, they fold fairly well. Uh, well, they hold very fairly well. They don't really stay folded. But just for a mock-up, they do what they need to do. So that is the Lily, really quick Lily uh, origami. I, I've been thinking about doing origami tutorials. Uh, so if you want to see those tutorials, please let me know. I will get those made and uploaded for you to view, for you to see. Uh, I recommend this paper if you're starting out as a beginner folder and you just want some paper to fold with. Uh, you can get your bang for your buck out of this. Uh, you can also uh, get paper that is uh, made quick and easy for you versus having to take the time out to cut out and make your own. Uh, if you are looking for more complicated folds uh, and going very simple, I do not recommend these for that. Uh, I would kind of stray away from it just a little bit. Uh, oh, I was wrong. It's 70G. Uh, it is 70G. So, uh, I, I like these people for what it is. But, it is what it is. So, uh, I will put a link in the description where you can get these, uh, as always. Uh, like you don't know by now, I, I will say uh, my t-shirts are down there as well. Uh, if you're feeling friendly and you want to donate a dollar or two, donation links in there as well. Uh, shirts come in on the 21st. I don't know when this video is going up, but uh, I'm excited. Uh, but I won't be here to get them. I keep forgetting that. Uh, okay, so uh, remember, as always, practice and being present. Do what you want to do. Uh, I've been doing origami since I was like in elementary school. So I this is I won't open a flower shop. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> but uh, practice and being present, and I'll see you at the next video. This is.